Live and on the air from the home of the Tigers, Comerica Park here in Detroit, Michigan. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Miami Marlins and the Detroit Tigers. The Marlins look to end this three-game interleague series with a sweep next. Jordan Zimmerman gets the ball for the Tigers in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy on the bump sitting on 99 career wins. So you know right now while he's taking his warm-ups, he's thinking about one thing. I need one more win to get to that magic century 100. That's a pretty big feather that you'll be able to put in your cap, and we'll see how he does in this one here today. Off Here's Starlin Castro, and we are ready the for some base daytime base. baseball. Starlin Castro. First offering on its way. Cold strike as the slider gets the outside corner. So, fellas, these Tigers, as they begin play here today, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Maddie, this team has definitely been struggling recently, and then you get a look up right now, and you're going to face the ace. Somebody has to step up for this team. I'll tell you what, if they're able to score a few early runs off him and put him on the defensive, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. The next 0-2. Count remains at 0-2. Can't get him to chase. It's 1-2. and two. Can't complain a bit about the weather here. 75 degrees our temperature at first pitch. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. And here's how the visiting Miami Marlins will line up in this one. Mark, how do they go about breaking out the brooms on the road? Yeah, Maddie, you take a look at this lineup. The one thing that jumps out is the fact that they are last in stolen bases. They are station to station trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark, trying to get in good counts and drive the baseball out of the yard to create their runs. Standing in, J.T. Riddle, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. In there, and it's 0-1. If you know you got a real patient hitter at the plate, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here, attacking the zone 0-0 and getting ahead. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat, but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2 count if you could do anything about it. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. I know the umpire balled that one right there, but it was close enough. He's going to try and establish that pitch in. As an offensive player, you've got to build that rapport with the umpire. He can't give him anything off the inside half of the plate. And it's an even count of two and two to J.T. Riddle. And set up working the plate is Matthew Ross, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Well, d Row, you better be ready to swing. With Matt Ross behind the dish, big zone. Yeah, you know coming into this one, you better pull the trigger. If something's close, Matt Ross is going to punch your ticket. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Another full count offering on its way. Drilled down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Line to the right side, but this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. That in third. The first Here's Neil Walker, and you Neil see that average below Walker. the dreaded Mendoza line. First pitch on its way. 
Down and in here. One ball, no strikes. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. And he is in the second with a two out double. Wow, he puts a serious charge into this ball. Ends up splitting the two outfielders. Bangs up against the wall in right center. And he cruises into second, knowing he can't hit the ball much harder than that. Stepping in now, Brian Anderson as he grounds one briskly to short. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the show. Caleb Smith, a Texas-born left-hander, gets the starting nod. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. A ball of no strikes. These Marlins as they take the field this afternoon. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Hey, not an easy thing to do, D-Row, to get a sweep, a three-game sweep on the road. They've won the first two, looking to put a bow on this one here. Yeah, to win three on the road, Dan, significantly Aye. difficult in today's game. You try and take care of business at home, this would be huge for this team. A 1-1. Misses, ball two. Now the 2 1 pitch. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the that first down. And now a look at the hometown stop. Tigers starting lineup in this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, Josh Harrison is a guy looking to turn things around right now. You know how bad he was last month? He hit 200 on the nose. Not a lot of guys can stay in the lineup when they're struggling this bad. So we're hoping to see that he can figure this thing out soon. Now at the plate, Jordy Mercer, and he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. First pitch of the at bat on its way. High pop up. And he'll put this away for the second out. Nick Castellanos now, as we take a look at the splits between April and May. First pitch coming, here it is. Nope, and that misses ball. ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Count is even one and one to Nicholas Castellanos. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. Here's the one and one pitch. One ball and two strikes to count. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Down in order go the Tigers. Still no score. Settling in now, Jorge Alfaro, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Alfaro. First pitch of the at bat. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Well, today's game provides the visiting squad with a chance to complete the series sweep, guys. 
One of the nope. toughest things to do at this level is to win on the road. With a win today, this would be a sweep of a road series. And one thing that would certainly help their cause in going for the sweep is if they can break out the big bats like they did yesterday. Several home runs in that ball game. It's not easy to hit home runs with this day and age with guys throwing with increased velocity. They were knocking the ball out of the ballpark all day yesterday. They'd like to save a couple of those and use them in this game today. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. At the plate, Gabby Guerrero. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. And a fastball in there for a strike. One and one. Ooh, I'm shocked he took that pitch right there. That ain't plus 90s right there. That's mid to low 90s fastball in the honey hole. I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. The one two sent on the ground out to second bare handed for one on the first and as Ernie may have said it's two for the price of one for the Tigers two away. It's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone and if you do do anything with it most of the time this will be the result a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. Into the box now, Austin Dean. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on the first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Marlins. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Up next steps Kristen Stewart. Leading up for the Tigers, the center fielder, number 14. And now pitch on the way. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. And there's ball one. Fastball at the letters, and he turns on it, hits it high and deep out to center field. But it's off the wall in the deepest part of the yard. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. And the Tigers are in business to start the inning. They've got a leadoff triple. You can't fault the center fielder's efforts there. He tried to track it down, but I don't think he had much of a chance to get there. His teammates will eventually help him out, but by that time, he's safely at third. Coming to the plate now, John Hicks. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. One and oh.
the 1 0 home. Liner towards second. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. Throw from shallow right will get him at first, but the run will come in to score. That's good, good hitting good. right there. Put the Go ball in play and let the guy Mike trot home from third to Mark put your up. team on the board. Good baseball. And that'll bring up Mikey Mata. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. First offering on its way. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Mata, a six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He was a first round pick back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. One and two now. Bases are empty, one man out. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. He's been called bad and average fell below 230 but that not might have put him in a positive frame baseman. of mind. Hopefully he that's goes. the start of something big right now. Good draw. Into the box Nico Goodrum now a ball lined to the left side but this is a foul ball. I'm set with the 0 and 1. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. Lays off that time and it's one and two. The one two and this runs inside and that looked like it got him pretty good. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch and such a dangerous pitch too. Sometimes it moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in and the hitter is standing on first as a result. Well, now the Miami managers up out of the dugout and on his way out to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So as he departs, not exactly sure why he's getting the hook as he's given up just one run, but nevertheless, he's on his way to an early shower. Adam no Conley please. is going to come on in relief now, now and he may be asked to eat several innings Number as 61. this game is just still really Adam getting underway. Conley. Grayson Grenier will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. First pitch on its way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. The 1 0 home is in there for strike one. Matuk on second. Goodrum at first, one gone. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. The 2 1 home is in there for the second strike.
Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep. And you can forget about it. This ball is gone. Three run home run down the line in right. Third home run for him on the year. As the Tigers have opened it up even further, it's now four to nothing. I know hindsight's 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. The third baseman, Jamer. The next batter, Jamer Candelario. Swing, and this is also hit well out to deep center. And he will make the play. Two away now. The batter, Digging in one. for his second at second bat, baseman. Josh Harrison. He popped Josh. out in his first trip. Harrison. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Looks like a left hander up and throwing now in that Marlins bullpen. Hit the other way out toward right field. Guerrero moves over. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. We played two. It's now four-nothing Detroit. Now at the plate, John Birdie. As we are all set to begin the third the inning in this one. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. The wind up and the 0 1. And he lays off for ball one. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Here now the two, two. Here's at the knees and called strike three. Batting not the designated hitter. Curtis. It is Curtis Granderson. Past history with Jordan Zimmerman comes in with six hits in 28 tries. He's taken him deep once. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. One out, nobody on. Counts even at one and one for Granderson. Granderson, often referred to as the Grandy Man, he's currently on a one year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. This guy has been an absolute beast this year so far, leading the team in home runs as he approaches free agency. Huge payday on the horizon. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. Squared that one up just a little late. Line to the right side. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. The batter number 13. Second base. Starling. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Starlin Castro. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch. Pitch taken. Several inches below the zone in fact. Granderson stands at first with one out. On a 
rope to the second baseman. But the runner is back to avoid the double play. Now batting shortstop JT Riddle. And next to the plate will be JT Riddle. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Off the plate, ball one. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Ball. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 2 0 on the way. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. And oh, not so fast, partner. A called strike on the inside part of the plate. Three and one now. The three and one pitch. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed. And now the inning continues with a man in scoring position. So it's first and second with two men gone and that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native the left handed bat of Neil Walker. Looking to wiggle out of this here it is. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Walker the former Yankee he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. Yeah I know he expected to get a longer term deal but these are the facts right now he is on a one year deal and he is going to have on to the third baseman but it's off the mark but luckily it doesn't get far enough away to now allow the runners to advance the third baseman Brian Anderson so our situation as the base is loaded two men out and that'll bring up the outfielder Brian Anderson. Here's the first pitch to him. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Behind 0 and 2 now. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in a wheelhouse, and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Ground ball right side. Oh, look at the sliding stop. And give it up on a phenomenal play to retire the side. Marlins lead on three. They trail here four to nothing. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Garden hired during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said forcing the opposing starter out of the game before the third inning and posting a bunch of runs right out of the gate was huge for them from a confidence standpoint and for their outlook moving forward in this game. The key now is keeping their foot on the gas pedal, Matt. All right, Heidi, thank you. Go. Ready for another Tiger. chance? Jordy That's Mercer. Shortstop. He'll get us going Jordy. in the home half of inning number three. Mercer. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. The 0-1 on its way. Ball Outside for a ball, one and one. The 1-1. One, one. Hit hard down the right field line. But a foul ball. The 1-2. Is taken for I'm ball tired. two. Ball. 
the 2 2. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. The 2 2 one more time. Hit in the air to right field. Guerrero sprinting after it. He's there and records the first out. So one gone now as you take a look there at the standings in the National League East and you see where the Marlins find themselves entering play today. Digging in now, Nicholas Castellanos. His career numbers with Adam Conley. He's a 333 hitter. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And oh, look inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Now the pitch. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. The 1-1. One -one. Hit hard on the ground at first. Slide and a stop by Walker. How about that? Now about it. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that means Kristen Stewart will dig in at the plate. He's set and the pitch. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Two out, nobody on. Up top, it's 2 0. Oh. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to hump up on a fastball and sailed on it. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. I would say the pitcher would tell us up here that that wasn't great execution, but he definitely had him off balance. That is a pitch in his arsenal that he can go to. And it's fouled away. Set to deal on two and two. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. So nothing happening this time around. Three innings complete. Tigers lead this one four to nothing. So striding forward now, Jorge Alfaro. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Now batting, number 65. In now, Gabby Guerrero. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and No runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. 3-0 and now. Got to find the strike zone. Here's the 3-0. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. lifted down the line and left. Matuk giving chase and a diving effort but it's out of his reach a foul ball. Now the payoff pitch home and he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses it's ball four. Now batting number forty four. So digging in now Austin Dean he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. 
Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Now the 1 0 is taken, strike one. The 1 1 home is taken for a ball as that slider broke off the plate. And a strike. Threw him a breaking ball that time, two and two. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three two count you send the runner and if it's a bad pitch it's ball four. Count still full three and two. Guerrero leads off first with one away. And strike three called on the outside corner. He's earned the right to live out there with the fastballs as that's out number two. Well, that call looked now like it was a little in the pitcher's the favor, but it wasn't John. outrageous. Hey, listen, calling 30. balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. In now, John Birdie, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ball, a ball and a strike. The 1 1. Line hard. But this is a foul ball. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. A runner on first with two away. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, runner on first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. The 3 2 pitch. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so the far. But after that walk, they've got runners at first and Randerson. second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. So two on with two away. And standing in now, the Grandy man, Curtis Granderson. First pitch coming, here it is. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. So far this season with runners in scoring position, Granderson is below the Mendoza line, the batting average under 200, unfortunately. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. Up high, two and one now. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. Digging into the batter's box next is John Hicks. Leading up for the Tigers, the designated hitter, John, John. Hicks. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. That's taken. Now it's 0 2. 
pretty unusual that you see a 5 hole hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. The left fielder, number eight. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling, keep throwing it. Right there, three fastballs in a row. He gone. Stepping in now, Mikey Matzer as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Bases are empty, one man out. A ball and a strike now. One one fouled off again and now he's in a one and two hole. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Here now the two two. He stays alive, still two and two. The two two one more time. Freezes him on the inside, strike three. Great spot on that two two fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. Into the box now, Nico Goodrum. Now the reliever remains in the game here, having pitched very well, but this is a longer outing than what he's used to. It is, Matt, and I really tip my cap to him for gutting this thing out right now. On the other side, I worry they're being a little bit too greedy by leaving him out there. There are options left in the pen, and it would be a shame if all his hard work got undone because he started making oh, right some now. mistakes and location due to fatigue. One ball, no strikes the count. Two and oh now. No strike. Now the two oh. Back up the middle. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Right nice there. effort by the shortstop right, right there. Up. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. First offering on its way. Zero. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. I don't mind the aggressiveness right there. He was definitely trying to get the head to a fastball. He pulled the string on that one. He's going to have to stay back a little bit longer. A one pitch on its way. Uh, no plate discipline oh, that down. time, and he's in the hole now, 0 oh 2. You could definitely tell this hitter's been guessing at the plate and guessing wrong. But here's where you can't expand the zone. You have to take a deep breath and try and fight yourself back to an even count. Slow roller down the third baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 2. Another 0 2 coming. And he missed with it. It's 1 and 2. The one two misses for the second ball. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues.
He's set. Here's the 2 2. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Tigers leave one, but they're in front four to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said it's been a real team effort to focus on a line drive approach, and that is certainly evident in this game. Our sack guys tell me they've hit nine total line drives, and even though not all of them have resulted in base hits, those are the swings the team believes leads to a lot of success at the plate. Leading off for the Marlins. Thank you, Heidi. The second baseman. Darlin Castro. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. The wind up and the 0 1. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. hit hard towards center and Castro's got himself a base hit so the leadoff man reaches in their half of the fifth the batter number 10 shortstop JT Up next from Miami JT Riddle it was a walk in his last trip he's ready here's the first offering Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Castro on at first, nobody out. And it's one and one. That's lifted the other way out to left. Matuk will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now batting. The first Stepping baseman. into the box, Neil, Neil Walker. He singled Walker. his last time up. He's set. Here it comes. Good setup, and the circle change hits the spot 0 and 1. One and one now the count of the Marlins first baseman. Now a throw over and he has to dive but he's back in easily. No runs five hits and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Left side, but well foul. Another 2 2 offering. Popped him up. Harrison is calling for it. Two gone. So it's now a runner at first with two gone and that'll bring up the Brian outfielder Brian Anderson. Anderson. Here's the first pitch to him in there no balls and a strike. You know they finally get the leadoff runner on it, it would be sad to watch him waste this opportunity. Somebody's got to come through with a base hit. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Line drive to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now batting. Catcher. Jorge Alfaro. Two men on. Two out, and up next will be the big catcher, Jorge Alfaro.
from the stretch. Here's the pitch. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. And a good job to lay off the fastball there close, but it's one and one. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitches to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Hit down the line at first. Two men are on with two men out. Count even at two and two to the Marlins catcher. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. Liner towards second. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third. And that means the bases are loaded now with two away. The bat. Number Boy, this is a big inning, Brew, and how about back to back to back singles? The bags are loaded, and he is in deep trouble. Yes, he is, no doubt about it. Nothing fires you up more than knocking the donut off your bat on the on deck circle and realizing all the pillows are taken right now. Major traffic, you got to stay within yourself, not try and do too much and get a pitch in your zone. Victor Alcantara answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Standing in now, Gabby Guerrero. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. The 1 0 is fastball taken high for a ball. Two balls, no strike. Now the 2-0 home. High and away, not close. 3-0. and Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. Set to deliver on 3-0. And a good comeback there. It's 3-1. and Taking all the way there, and a walk could be huge here, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's got the bat on his shoulder again on the next pitch. The 3 1. This is hit to third. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. Marlins leave all three. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Ready now, Jimer Candelario flied out in his Tiger. first at bat, so the make him 0 for 1 so far. Her. Candelario. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Whoa, that's and a ball 1 and 0. Oh. Now the 1 0. -oh. This is line to left. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. The batter, number one, second baseman, Joe. 
So it's back to the top of the order now. And the ever versatile Josh Harrison digs in. Here comes the first pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. The 0 and 1 delivery changed up on him and he gets the inside corner for strike two. And he misses there one and two. Wow really close pitch on Owen oh 2 that just missed and if he hits that spot right there again he might get the call next time. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2 2. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Again, another foul ball. Hey, he's got four foul balls in this A.B. right here. He's really making this pitcher grind for everything. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Now the payoff pitch home. That misses. So a single and a walk. And it's first and second with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Here's Jordy Mercer now. And this is just the eye test talking here, but this reliever looks fatigued to me. Doesn't seem like his stuff is really effective right now. Yeah I can't disagree with that Matty. He's allowed a couple of runners to reach here in the inning and the command just doesn't seem to be there anymore. I got to think they're going to turn to a bullpen option very soon if not right away. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike. Down and away, ball one. Candelario over at second. Harrison on at first with nobody out. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on, but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. Fouled off. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on two and two that one wasn't even close. Popped up Walker in foul ground but this will land untouched. The next three two 
And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to now work back. carefully with two men on, but right he did not want to walk yeah. him to load the bases. Come now he's there. really got, got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. So coming to the plate, Nicholas Castellanos. He's got the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. And he's one of those guys that they really rely on to come through in spots like this, Matt. Second on the team and runs batted in. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball. 1-0. When you're hitting in a situation like this, you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. You're looking at keyhole something, middle of the plate, and drive some runs in. Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. A bouncer up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. One run scores. Now a good throw comes into the infield, so that'll force the second runner to hold on over at third base. And hey, I can't 14. imagine that's a pitch he was looking for right there. But he did his best to keep his nose in there and drive that change up for a base hit. And next it'll be the Tigers cleanup hitter, Kristen Stewart. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. From the stretch, too high, 1-0. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You could see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. That's wide, 2-0. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Here he comes on 2-0. Two balls and a strike. I'm not going to lie. I thought he lost it right there. He had no feel for the baseball, missing wildly several balls in a row, but able to attack the zone right now. Let's see if he gets back into it. Bases loaded here, nobody out. Aye. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now, two and two. One of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play, to get in those situations where you can try and do damage. What do you want, the nasty slider? And a swing and a miss on a huge first out there as he sets him down swinging with the bases loaded. Man, they really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Into the box now, John Hicks. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Soft liner towards short, but this is pulled in by the shortstop. So the bases are loaded here. Mikey. Two men gone. And that'll bring Matuk. up the outfielder Mikey Matuk to bat next. Hoping to limit the damage. Here's the pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there. Taken for a strike. 
Well this has been a lot of pitches for him out of the bullpen as you can see there. They're asking a lot of him in this one so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a day off or two after this one. Off speed pitch just missed inside. Ready with the one one pitch. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. One run is scored. And the runner from second is in to score. It's seven nothing. A not hit all that hard, D-Roll. He muscled it out there for a two the RBI base, base hit. Yeah, I don't he care, goes. Dan. Lawn dart off Good the end draw. of the bat. Jam sandwich doesn't matter. Found himself some green grass and gets two ribbies. In now, Nico Goodrum. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Here comes the 1 0. And that's off the plate and high. 2 0 now. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2 0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Ready with the 2 0 pitch. Outside, 3 0 now. Two on, two out with a base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch and he can hit one out of the park on. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. What's the saying? Uh, when you find Thank yourself you in a hole, the first feet. thing you should do is stop digging. Right well, the guy on the bump obviously Water. hasn't heard that one. Now batting, Grayson Grenier. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the set bat. First pitch fastball off the plate there and it's ball one. Grounded to third. Throw on to first and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode. So all in all they're fortunate to give up just three in the inning as they wind up escaping the bases loaded jam. Five innings complete. Detroit is out in front seven to nothing. Stepping up now Austin Dean. Leading off for this the one doesn't look good the so far field. down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. One and one. The 1 1 home is taken for strike two. The 1 2. Skied into very shallow right. Castellanos is there. One away. Now back. Stepping into the, the box, fielder. John Birdie. John. It was a walk in his Birdie. last trip. He's set and the pitch. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball.
fly ball out toward left center field. Matuk on the move. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Up next for the Marlins. Striding forward now is the DH. Curtis Granderson, one for two on his line so far in the game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. Swung on but fouled off to the left. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. 0 2 is a fastball that misses inside. 1 and 2 now. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string, throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. And look out as that one ran in and got him. You know with two outs and nobody on that's the last thing you want to do on the mound. That really gives the opposition some hope that they can do something with this inning. Digging in and looking for more Starlin Castro. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Try to check it and it's 0 and 1. Hits are even at seven apiece. And that's in there as well. Oh, and two now. Nope. And he couldn't get him to chase the O2 fastball. It's one and two. The one two and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Goodrum is there to make the catch and the side is retired. One left for Miami. They're down by a touchdown seven nothing. Marlene Garcia gets the call to pitch please. here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. Marlin. He's going to try to at least Number need a couple 66. of innings for his guys. Marlin Garcia. Digging in the switch hitter, Jimer Candelario. He'll look to get the Tigers going in their half of the sixth. The Tigers, the third baseman, Jimer Candelario. First pitch coming. Here it is. Strike one to start the at-bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. The batter, number one. So back to the top of the Detroit lineup, digging in, Josh Harrison. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Fouled away. Here's the 1 1. Strike two is the fastball that's let go. If I'm the guy in the batter's box right here, I have to take a step out, adjust my batting gloves, take the pull side out of it, because that was three fastballs in a row. One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Here he comes again, one, two. 
A swing and a miss for route number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. He put up a pretty seven. good battle at the plate right Short there. Stop. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but yes, you can sir. see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. Into the box, Jordy Mercer. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now the 1 0. And it's fouled away. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And there's ball two now. That's on the outside corner. Count two and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Fouled off. Another full count pitch home. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Dean moves over. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Detroit, and they hold a 7 0 lead. The world is yours, don't think that it's not. You may be different, still give it a shot. Against our lives, you think the signs are even really they not. Back here now at Comerica Park in Detroit. We're through the first six innings with the Tigers on top. And before we start the seventh, let's take a look at our game summary. Stepping in, JT Riddle. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First pitch on its way. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Not a bad idea right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. Throws the first pitch for a strike. They need to get some runners on base and not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. I know he's down in the count right now, and it's not looking good, but he's been swinging the bat so well lately. I don't think he minds this one bit. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. The 0 2 once more. Misses for ball one. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. Now as we look at all five pitches, notice the location, Neal. all five Walker. down in the zone. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. Standing in now, Neil Walker, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's two for three and looking for more here. On, oh, one pitch on its way. Nope. And that misses one and one. The 1-1 is taken high above the zone. 
he would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top. But he was able to lay off it. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Brian Anderson is on deck. The three one finds the zone to fill the count three and two. Now the three and two pitch. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Another payoff pitch. High and deep to straightaway right. Castellanos ranging back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batter. So now it'll be the four Brian. hole hitter Brian Anderson. Anderson he's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way hit to third a dive and he knocks it down and no chance at all to make a play here so despite the effort the inning will continue. Now batting, the catcher, Jorge Alfaro. Striding in, Jorge Alfaro. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. Well, that was a big two out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons, the inning went from totally under control to now. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base and this is how two out rallies start. The 1 0 is looked at off the plate for a ball. Anderson the runner at first with two gone. And here's a fastball for a strike two and one now. Alfaro in front three balls and a strike. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center and he will get there to make the running play and that will end the inning. Marlins leave one. They need to get something cooking here. It's seven nothing. Now to the plate Nicholas Castellanos. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Yeah Matt he pressures off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone work on his craft and try and drive something in the gap calling for it Guerrero and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now that number so four. here's the cleanup hitter Kristen Stewart he struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate and you can live with punching out with the bases empty but in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position you cannot go down not putting the ball in play too much on the line too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot and he will run this one down a good now read off the bat the for the second out John. next to the plate for the Tigers the D.H. John Hicks 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one first offering on its way and a fastball to start things out here not close it's a ball and no strikes. And a strike to even the count one and one. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now and that can obviously be dangerous a cold strike there but he might need to lower his sights a little bit.
Hard hit ball to second. And that'll make him one for four in this one. Just an unbelievable piece of hitting right there. Staying on the inner half of that baseball right there. Staying to it and through it, not coming around it and able to drive it the other way for a base hit. Stepping in now, Mikey Matzer as he takes a called strike on the black. It's 0-1. So far, two for three in this one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. One that misses one wide. One ball and one strike. The 1-1. One, one. It is a fastball and off the plate for a ball. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. The three and one pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Well, he made quick work of the first two guys this half now inning, getting first two quick outs, but then he gives he up a goes. base hit and now the walk. Good we'll see draw. if he has it in him to draw the line in the sand and get out of this. So stepping in, Nico Goodrum. It was a walk in his last trip. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. In there for strike one. Hicks at second. Matuk on at first with two down. The 0 2 home. Oh, and this one ran in and got him. And that's twice now he's been hit in this one. Yeah, there's no question that this down one got away from him. Sure. He was cruising, Great had him down 0 oh 2 with two outs. Lighter. And he's going to be pretty unhappy with that. You never want to give an offense new life in an inning. Into the box now, Grayson Grenier, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. And he's got ducks on the pond, as they say, looking to add to his team's already sizable lead. One and 0 pitch on the way. Count now a ball and a strike. Two out, bases loaded. One and two to the Tigers catcher. The one two is laid off for ball two. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. Guerrero is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. So the Tigers leave him loaded, but they're still in control, seven to nothing. Digging in, Gabby Guerrero, no hits to this point. The starting right to run out of time. They Number haven't been 65. able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. He's set. Here it comes. Sends that one out of play for strike one.
Ball and that right. misses downstairs for a ball one and one. The one one is a slider taken for a ball. In today's game everybody's trying to work off the mound north south trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there but I can tell you as an offensive player I'd rather give you six inches off east west than to have you call that high fastball. Now the two one pitch a swing and a shot hit down the corner and that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead it's a long foul ball. Here now the two two. Again he sends it out of play. The two two one more time doesn't get the zone count full now. Austin Dean is on deck. Three two pitch hit hard on the ground a second and this is going to find its way into right for a base hit. the leadoff man's on to start the eighth. Boy this has been really frustrating they're piling up the base hits but they Number can't seem 44. to get that one big knock to drive some runs in. Yeah and this can get frustrating for a team doesn't matter what your batting average is the bottom line is W's and L's and they got to find a way to get some runs. Into the box Austin Dean as he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner it's 0 and 1 he's hitless in three at bats to this point. Popped him up. Brings it in standing inside the coach's box for out number one. The field Stepping in, John Birdie. Over John. two with a walk for him so far. Birdie. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Slider taken here. One ball, one strike. He's going to have to make adjustment on that slider away. He can't just make it a non-competitive pitch and allow these guys to take. He's got to start that a little bit more over the middle of the plate to get that swing and miss on the outer half. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. That's back to back breaking balls away. But now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again. So your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. Now the two one pitch doesn't ball hit three. the target. It's ball three. Three balls, one strike. Waiting next is Curtis Granderson. Set. Here's the 3 1. Now batting, designated hitter, Curtis Granderson. So to the plate, the Marlins DH, Curtis Granderson. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Yeah, Maddie, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. First pitch on its way. Ground ball to second. This could be two. One there. On to first. It's a double play. And another crisis is averted here as the inning is over. One hit, one left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. It's the Tigers seven and the Marlins nothing. Your Robbie Moylan enters now in now a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right Number where it three. is. Robbie. Moylan. Stepping up to the plate, Jimer Candelario. He's working on a one for three thus far. Candelario. 
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Now a change up but it misses just a little below the zone. The fish came into this one riding pretty high presented with the opportunity to sweep the series. However it has clearly not gone the way they'd hoped. One of the things you have to do is play 27 outs and not give any at bats away. They're down by several runs here. It doesn't look good but they still have a chance and when you have a chance you have hope. And for the opposition finishing this one off and salvaging a win in the series will sort of allow them to at least save a little face here at home. No doubt about it. The last thing you want to do is get beat around in your own backyard. You want to make your home ballpark a winning ballpark. So winning this one and avoiding the sweep could be just what the doctor now ordered. Got him swinging the on the fastball thing. there. Jimer Candelario becomes Harris, the first yeah. out in the bottom of the eighth inning. Josh Harrison stands in. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Ball. Mm, 2 and 0. A great case of a manager sticking up for his pitcher right there and giving that umpire an earful. He didn't get that pitch called the way he wanted it to, but the manager is planting a seed in that umpire's mind to try to expand the strike zone so some of those borderline pitches start to go his pitcher's way. Jordy Mercer is on deck. Bases are empty, one man out. And he won't even have to take the bat off. It's Moorings, a four pitch walk here. It's all a part of learning how to pitch in the big leagues. Major league hitters will not bail you out by swinging at pitches out of the zone. So he's going to have to continue to learn how to get guys out of this level. Coming to the plate now, Jordy Mercer. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. First offering on its way. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. Yeah guys the key to hitting in the big leagues is to hit off the heater and this guy is obviously sitting something else. And he misses with it one and one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Count is 1 and 2 now. The one two swing and a liner but foul that wasn't a terrible pitch right there but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down maybe even potentially bounce the next one swung on and this ball is absolutely crushed about it. and out of here and I mean by plenty that ball was crushed. So a two run shot to left center home run number five on the year as they push this lead up to nine now. Mark this one down as a lesson for the young pitcher. Hitters at this level will just continue to spoil pitches they don't like until they get that pitch they do like. Guess what? He really no liked that one. Dog. Standing in yeah. now, Nicholas Castellanos. Seared down the first baseline. And a reach bolts by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. The throw into second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. He just smoked this ball right down the line. Take a look here. Now Hard to tell if it was Number fair four. or foul in real time, but you can see it flies right over the bag. Ump was all over it and made a great call. Stepping in now, Kristen Stewart. 
as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. Now the 2 0 is up and in but called a strike. Castellanos, the runner at second with one away. Smoked on the ground left side and just past his outstretched glove into left the base hit and they won't risk it at third so they're at the corners now with only one away. Now ah, that's a nice piece of hitting right there boys through the 5.5 the old Tony Gwynhull and a nice piece of base running guy on second is able to let that ball see it go through and then advance up to third. Into the box now. John Hicks lays off 1 0. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself at bad counts. Here it comes 1 0. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. 2 0 count, the pitch. On the ground to second base. This could be two. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Starling Castro starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. One and one to the Marlins leadoff hitter. Ready to deliver the one and two and a swing and a miss good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. The batter number 10 shortstop JT Riddle. Digging in JT Riddle he was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball you could tell he was late on that one and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And he'll take strike one on the fastball registering at ninety three that time. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. The 1 1. Hit hard down the left field line. But this will be foul. High fly ball out to deep right field. Castellanos ranging back. He gets there, and that's the second out. 
Now yeah. down to their final the out now. And that will bring Neil. in the Pittsburgh area native, Walker. the left-handed bat of Neil Walker. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. And that is off the wall in right field. Hey, there's a bullet off the wall. The outfielder does a really good job of getting that one in quickly, but I think they had a play there at second base. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there, Dan. I, I, I got to believe you're busting it out of the box thinking two until somebody tells you no. I know it would have been a close play, but I think you got to err on the aggressive side right there. Strike taken up in the zone. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. The 0 1 pitch. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Miami down to their last strike. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he will reach down to make the catch on the run. And what a fine way to end it there as this ball game is over. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs. So a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. A 9-0 shutout final in this ball game. Detroit took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Victor Alcantara wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Caleb Smith was unable to work out of the second inning as he sat with the loss.